Well guys, it happened again. My wife just took a shower and she says, the drain is bubbling. I went in there and verified it. Drain is indeed bubbling again. I know what you guys are thinking. Darren, your septic tank is full. That's the problem. Au contraire, the septic tank was just pumped. The first time this happened, that's what I thought. So I had the septic tank pumped. Whenever the septic tank was pumped, I cleaned out the leech ring, uh, cleaned out the filter trap, everything and the tank is structurally fine. What has happened is there is some type of clog at the entrance to the septic tank. Rather that be something the kids flushed or uh, banky sized shit. Something and it catches a bunch of toilet paper. So I'm able to go through and punch the toilet paper off of it and get the water flowing again, but I'm not getting root cause of the plug fixed. So. I'm gonna punch a hole in it uh, just so we can get water flowing and, and get everybody in the house moving again. And then we're gonna have to call a plumber. I mean, yeah, I probably should have called a plumber, but your boy learns best through denial and error. Buy your own home, they said. The American dream, they say. Whoever wrapped this cable up is an idiot. Yeah. It actually, it actually looks empty, uh, which is surprising. Definitely backing up, so. Someone pooped. Almost like I've done this before, eh? Through denial and error. So I'm having her cut all the water on. I'm having her cut all the water on. I'm hoping not. I've, I've only got about 10 foot to me in the T, and I know that pulling it out and measuring, I know that I'm at the T whenever I, I get the water flowing. So really the only good way to do it is to keep doing it. Denial and error. how you get shit all over your arm. I pulled a baby wipe out of it. That's my tactic here. Your boy learns best through denial and error. Finn. So we got the, uh, we got the turds wrangled. The boy's about to wrangle some more chicken and rice down. Hi, this is my dad. You guys know what it is. About to eat some lunch. I uh, gotta finish the episode of Make Your Own Shit. Working on making some lights for the basement. I really wasn't looking forward to having to wrangle turds today, but that's part of owning a home. Part of home ownership is, is hard work, gang. So you can see what I'm doing here on the episode of Make Your Own Shit. Got a few stands put up. Basically, making some boxes for lighting. The goal there is just uh, to put those down in the basement and have a little bit better lighting for whenever I'm recording down there. That way I can get the reaction videos, you know, for the podcast. That'll be perfect. Uh, it'll look nice and crisp. I don't, I don't mean to be hard. Basically, if you're feeling depressed, man, I want you to do two things. Denial and error. First thing, go down and smash the like button. Next, go and get in the shower, all right? And I want you to to get the, the shower on, on hot, get in it until your body adjusts to, to the warmth. Get out of the water, turn the water on almost all the way cold. And then I want you to get in. I want you to stay there until you smash the like button, until you catch your breath, until you feel hard. Conquer your demons. And I'm not a psychologist, man, so probably don't listen to me. If you wanna listen to me, then go ahead, try the shower thing out. Let me know if that helps you. And that's today's episode, man. Gang. I got my iPhone in the show.